In this tutorial, I will show and give some tips and tricks on how to prepare detailed Revit models for energy simulation within Revit. Actually, it's not needed that you create rooms or place rooms, but it's a very good way of inspect your model to see if everything is correct concerning the different zones that will be created based on the different constructions. First step that should be taken, that is check how it create these rooms. So go to architecture and click on this drop down menu under area and volume computation. In here it should be checked out that it calculates area and volumes and not only areas as default. OK for this. Second, placing rooms also here from architecture. Typically it will always try to use the level I'm standing on as the upper limit but in most cases it's best to say go up to the upper limit like level 1 in this case and remove the limit offset so it will go from this level I'm standing on here to level 1 that's the room height and then place the room where it should be like this so I have already done it for the other room so I will just go to a section to show some method on how to check if they are going up to the right level when I'm standing in a section view I want to visualize these rooms so if I press VV I get to the visibility and graphical rights and if I go down to the rooms and open the sub categories and click on this interior fill and press apply then it will have this blue colored and this actually the rooms it's shown here so it is important that for example this room I just created here that that goes up to the right level and if I zoom a little bit in here let's say I haven't chosen the upper limit to level 1 then it could be something like like this maybe it just had this upper limit and then there would be a huge open area or a hole in the energy model and then it will not create a realistic model based on that but typically it's, it doesn't matter if the upper limit goes past the different uh, construction here typically but if we are dealing with curtain walls they are a little bit tricky as seen here it tends to find empty spaces in between so that's why it's actually important to make sure that the rooms are only going to the level you want to have them so in this case to level 1 type 0 in here so we'll go to the bottom of this floor for example in this project there is some ceilings maybe you don't want to have it going to the bottom of the ceiling in other cases you want to have it but typically when you want to create an energy or zone model you need actually to have the rooms going on up to the um, bottom of the floor construction or else the room will be too small and actually there is an airspace if it's a suspended ceiling for example so it's not always possible to make it 100% perfect from the beginning then you have to go in and edit some part of it to get the right energy model out of it you should also consider like for the toilets here if it's a one big room or smaller rooms in general it's actually best if it's a one big room then you'll have less smaller zones regarding rooms that is not interior you should not have these rooms in your model when you want to export it for energy simulation in this case this staircase is an exterior where the facade is wrapped around to get the same expression from outside so this room should not be included in the energy model and finally for preparing the model for energy simulation of detailed Revit models if you want to take the context into account then you need to give the context simple objects because due to limitation it cannot take masses into account or other kind of in-place mass objects so 
it is needed to put like walls in this case but you could do it simple it doesn't have to be detailed it's just a matter of there is something that creates shadows for your building for this you could use the masking inside go to model by face and use the, the wall and just place some walls on the nearby context you don't have to put on all of the context second if you're using design option then the, the model you want to simulate it has to be the primary let me show it click on design option icon in this case this is about facade design and this is option one so this one have to be primary if you not can click on make primary you need to say finish editing and then you can press on make primary in this video I've been showing how to edit and check stuff directly in the Revit model regarding rooms and boundaries for the rooms in another video I will explain more about how to inspect the models regarding the different zones if there are warnings 